hiccups. I am so sorry. I'm gonna give me a second here. I think I'm good. Why am I upside down? I don't want to do that. I just don't want to look at myself. Hi guys! So, today's video is a mini kind of haul. And this haul is basically beauty products, bath and body works, some home decor, and a scarf. It's a pretty random haul, but it's my purchases recently, and I'm dropping some. So it's a pretty random haul, but it's my purchases recently, and I really wanted to film a video. So, also, by the way, my bedding still not really matching my room. Although, from this view, it really doesn't look too terribly bad. But I'm getting new bedding soon, so just hold your horses. It'll be okay. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this video. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this a beautiful, beautiful scarf that my very, very best friend Brittany got me. And it is so pretty. It's like got this blue, kind of like minty, kind of like matching my walls blue, um, like little pattern. It's, it's got a lot going on. Like it's got this stripe thing. It's so cool. Oh, I dropped it. It's just, it's got so many different patterns and styles to it, and it's a circle scarf, which are my favorite scarves, so she knows me so well. I have a ton of stuff from Target that I got, so I hope I picked everything up, too. So I went into Target originally to buy one thing and came out with, like, too much. Okay, actually, I went into Target to buy two things. The first thing I went into Target to buy was... A foundation. Now, I have loved the CoverGirl Nature Lux foundation for so long and I've been so obsessed with it and then they discontinued it. After digging around in my foundation drawer, I actually found out that I have one that was for my summer skin tone from a couple summers ago or like last summer that um, has just been sitting in there and it's completely full but I ended up picking up the wrong color and not being dark enough. But I found it, and I love that foundation so much. I have went through so many foundations and haven't been able to find one that works, so I used it today, and oh, it feels nice to have it on my skin again. But um, I heard when I Googled it that um, the Clean, CoverGirl Clean one was good, and I didn't know which one to get, and usually when there's a sensitive skin option, I just go for that because that's usually the most gentle one. So I got the Clean CoverGirl Sensitive Skin um, Foundation, and it's alright. It's really watery and I'm just not really sure if I'm a huge fan of it or not. I might be giving it to a friend because I'm really just not into it. Um, but it's okay, I suppose. But it, it, what's really annoying is I'm dropping it. But trying to dump it out of the bottle, it does not want to come out and it's so annoying and it drives me insane. If you guys have any dupes for the CoverGirl Nature Lux Foundation, you should let me know in the comments. But I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and splurge the $45 on the Laura Mercier silk cream foundation because I was told that the CoverGirl version was basically like a cheaper version of that foundation. Next thing on the foundation spectrum of things, I love Rage Loves here on YouTube and she has been talking about the, this isn't CoverGirl, this is the Maybelline Dream Wonder powder and she has talked this product up so much and so I decided to get it and guilty I've tried out most of these products that I'm showing in this video but I tried it um, I've been using this all week and I've used it today and what I just love about it is I feel like almost this powder takes a medium coverage foundation and turns it into a full coverage foundation or a very like light coverage foundation and turns it into a medium coverage foundation it's so amazing and you barely feel it's so soft and it just it, I love this foundation this like powder I guess it's not really a foundation but I mean it is I don't know I love this powder it's amazing and if you guys haven't checked it out you should I was using the Maybelline dream matte powder so that's why I was really drawn to this because I used the matte version so I tried out the wonder and I absolutely love it okay super excited about this I have been looking for the Nivea lip butters that everybody seems to rave about and I discovered I was actually looking in the wrong part of Target for it. I had been searching and searching and I was looking through the lip balm area, but I was venturing off over into the self tanning area, which is where I have my next product after this one that I'll show you. And while I was there, I saw the Nivea products and I was like, oh Nivea, I wonder if the lip butters are over here. Sure enough, they were. So I got two. I got the Nivea Lip Butter in Vanilla and Macadamia Kiss. And this seriously 
smells like perfection and I've been using a ton of it and I actually was a little disappointed because when I got out to my car I realized that somebody had already ripped the packaging off and opened it but I didn't really care and I was too lazy to go exchange it so I just didn't worry about it um and then I also got the one in raspberry rose kiss and I don't know after smelling this one um the vanilla I don't like the, the raspberry smell as much but they both do the exact same thing it's just a scent thing so if you're really into that vanilla scent definitely go for the vanilla macadamia kiss but if you're really into like the fruitier scents I would go for the raspberry or both you know live on the edge you could mix them up together and have some vanilla raspberry thing going on I don't know but I got two of them and I'm super excited about these and while I was looking for self tanner I got the Jergens natural glow um, I'm not a huge self tanner person because I personally don't like looking really patchy and awkward and just the but I do like to use this on my legs because it seems like my arms during the summer get a lot darker than my legs do for some reason and I don't know why so I usually only put this on my legs and I only apply it you know every once in a while it's a daily moisturizer so basically this creates a gradual color so it's not like you're gonna put it on and it's gonna be really really dark if you apply it over several days you reach your darkest um, tone for the medium so as it shows on the back you know after one application after a few days and then after a week um, and I don't know when you shave it doesn't seem to do too much to like come taking it off but it does take off quite a bit because it is you know just the outside layer of your skin but it kind of seems to soak in under just the outside layer so make sure you are exfoliating before you are putting this on I don't like to put it on after I shave my legs I usually will only put it on after taking like a bubble bath and then exfoliating my legs after my bubble bath and then putting um, this stuff on so and then next is nail products and this was the other thing that I went in there with the intention of getting I've seen this nail polish which okay let's be honest most of the youtubers that are showing these triple shine nail polishes I'm pretty sure it's like some kind of it was sent to them ordeal whatever but I saw this color and I think I saw Rach loves wearing this I'm not sure if that's who it was but I absolutely loved the way it looked on her nails and I loved the color so I picked it up and it's the Sally Hansen Triple Shine in the color Dive In and I'm sure if you watch a lot of gurus you've seen this on YouTube. It's really amazing looking and I'm just excited to try it out. And I also didn't really have a good just black nail polish and I'm really wanting to get into nail art. So I picked up this one in Black Onyx from OPI and it's just a black nail polish and I want to use it not to paint my whole nails black because that was like my emo phase back in like freshman year which I wasn't even emo but my black phase and I'm just not into black nails it doesn't really match my personality very well so not really about that the last thing I picked up from Target which this kind of drew my eye when I was looking at nail polish what's a girl to do when they come across something that they've been wanting to buy I've wanted a nail art kit for so long and I always look at the ones on Amazon and things like that when I was in Target and I saw that Sally Hansen came out with this new I Heart Nail Art I Heart Nail Art toolkit and it comes with a what does it come with <coughs> oh it comes with a detailer brush a striping brush a marbling and dotting tool and one stencil so it comes with a bunch of little stencil things um, and then it has little brushes and tools and I was really wanting to do this because plus this is something that's really easy to get your hands on so if I can come across some good nail tutorials that I could film for you guys I could use tools that would be really easy and pretty cheap for you guys to get your hands on so definitely excited about trying this out Next, I went to Bath and Body Works yesterday with my mom because yesterday I officially moved out of my dorm room and I got a ton of stuff. Okay, not really. I got like three things, four things, whatever. Um, but I really wanted to share them with you guys. So the first thing that I got was another, which I've had one of these already and I'm almost out of it. But it is the Warm Vanilla Sugar Golden Sugar Scrub. And this kind of goes with my self tanning a little bit and also getting smooth legs, which I want to film a video about that. But I love, love this Bath & Body Works Sugar Scrub, plus it comes in like your favorite Bath & Body Works scents. And I just absolutely love it and it just gets off all the dry skin and my legs look amazing and I put it on my arms too, it's not just my legs. And I am so obsessed with it and they have them um, in all the like original scents and stuff. So definitely check this out if you're looking for a good sugar scrub. I also have really been loving the Velvet Sugar um, line while I've been in Bath & Body Works. I see it 
all the time and I just want to buy it and I never do and I was with my mom we had a coupon and we decided to buy together so I got the fine fragrance mist in velvet sugar and then I also got the shower gel only because I have so many lotions and I probably should never buy another Bath and Body Works lotion although I'm contradicting myself because I bought one next now I'm contradicting myself with the whole lotion thing but this is a hand cream and I really love hand creams I have the warm vanilla sugar hand cream but for the spring and summertime I want something a little bit more like floral and summery so I got the wild passion flower hand cream and I love these Bath and Body Works hand creams they're about five dollars and they're so nice I've been through like two others um, I've been using the wild no this is the wild passion flower I've been using the warm vanilla sugar one all winter and I loved it it kept my hands really nice and soft and I used to use the strawberry one last summer and I went through the entire one throughout the summer so Hopefully I can do the same with the Wild Passion Flower. Okay, and the last few items I'm going to show you guys today are home decor items, I guess. And they're basically for my bedroom because I painted my room and I'm redoing it and I'm getting new furniture. And eventually I'll probably put up a room tour of how it is now and then when I get the new furniture put an updated room tour up. But I got some stuff from Hobby Lobby because... Hobby Lobby has got some good home decor. If you guys haven't ever been to a Hobby Lobby, you totally should. I don't know if it's something that's like everywhere or if it's kind of like a Midwest thing because honestly I never hear anyone on here talk about it. But um, it's kind of like a Michaels thing. But I got this really cute mirrored, it's got plastic on it right now, but it's this mirrored wall decor item that says love on it and I also got one that says live and there's also one that says laugh and I didn't get that one at first but I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and pick that up next time I'm at Hobby Lobby because I love these things and I plan on putting them on my wall but I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want to do that and it's kind of been a struggle and my mom and I have argued about it multiple times so so now I'm going to go ahead and okay so now I'm going to go ahead and show you the lamp and the mirror which are over there and then we'll come back here. So my area over here is a little messy. We've got some like M&Ms. You know we're being real here guys. This is how I live. I got part of a cookie. So this is my lamp that I got here and this is from Target. And everybody and their mom lately has had the same base I've noticed in their videos. And I honestly got that before I even saw anybody else have it. So that's my little disclaimer there also this lampshade right here is from Target and I just picked these two because I originally picked this out for my dorm room and I've had it in there for a while but I just wanted to show it in this video because I've never shown it in a video and I really like it um, and I just I was really excited about it and I thought that this kind of matched my whole theme in my room here and then also I have this mirror which I'm about to stand in front of okay hello so this mirror here, which looks like this, it's just this long floor length mirror and it has these really awesome diamondy um, crystals around the outside. This was also from Hobby Lobby. I spent, okay this thing costs about like $349 but I got it for $175. So it was kind of a pricey um, item but I really love this mirror and I think it's a really nice accent to my room so I picked it up. Alright you guys so I hope you enjoyed this video of this random little haul. I plan to have a Sephora haul pretty soon because I haven't bought any makeup from Sephora for a while. It's well well overdue. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to subscribe if you're ever interested in the videos that I have coming up soon. I always have my upcoming videos in the description box along with my last three videos and all of my social media links. So be sure to subscribe, follow me on my social media sites, and watch my other videos. So thank you guys for watching. I love you all very much and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye guys!